with a fresh take on seafood. Ed's Lobster Bar is cooking up classic and innovative dishes daily. Oh, I wish you could smell this. This morning, oh Chef Ed McFarland is cooking up something for us from his winter menu. Good morning, Chef. So good to see you. Great to uh, be here live with you via Zoom. That's fantastic. Absolutely. Okay, so you have two locations, one in Manhattan, one in Sag Harbor. Uh, talk to us about this winter menu. It is full of goodness. So, you know, especially with only having outdoor dining in New York City, we wanted to really ramp up the winter menu this year. So we went back to some old stuff and some newer stuff. So today we're going to be making the shellfish stew, which is great for this cold spell that just hit. Besides that, I put on a chicken pot pie. We have short ribs. Oh, wow. We have our ravioli, and we made a lobster ramen dish this year as well. Ooh. Really to get geared up for the new way dining is working in New York City. Lobster ramen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So tell us about what you're going to cook up for us on this Friday, Chef Ed. So I have laid out in front of me mm -hmm. uh, what we use for our shellfish stew. We have clam juice lobster stock, mussels, clams. If I tilt it a little bit, maybe you can see the yeah. clams. Yep. I'm not sure. We have the scallop mm -hmm. and shrimp, as well as our par cooked lobster claw, and I can hold that up right there, and a little bit of anchovy, which will just drop literally this much of a pinch into uh, into the broth as we're cooking. And I have a hot pan on the stove, and if we're good to go, I'm going to get started. Yeah, let's get started. Do it. Okay, fantastic. So hot pan okay. with some olive oil, and you'll. You can see a little smoke coming out, I hope. And oh, yeah. Hit my scallop and shrimp with just a little bit of salt. Oh, look at the way you did that. So chef-like. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, the whole idea for a hot pan is you want to get that really beautiful sear on your scallop and shrimp and get that flavor locked in. So once we have that in the pan, that's maybe going to be like 30 seconds, 40 seconds of searing it before we add the rest of our ingredients and the juice. So you want to sear it ahead of time. You don't want to just let it cook in the soup because then it can get too, I guess, chewy, right? Yeah, well, we don't want it to get chewy. We don't want it to overcook, but I'm going to pick up the scallop just so you get an idea of what I'm trying to do is a lot of times you'll see scallops are very, are very colorless. And the idea is kind of just oh, yeah. to um, get that nicer color on the scallop. Uh -huh. yeah. It gets a little Christmas on there. And, you know, we really want to get the flavors really out in the whole dish. Right. So that's really what steering it's all about. So once we have them, the scallop and shrimp flipped over, we're going to add our mussels right in, mm -hmm. our clams right into the pan. And I'll be careful not to flame the pan up because that's when it gets that gassy flavor. And we really want to avoid that. Okay. So I'm going to add my liquid right in, which that's the clam juice. And we're going to add about six ounces of clam juice. Now, where do you get clam juice? We make our own clam juice in the restaurant okay. by just uh, steaming chowder clams off. And we uh, strain out all the uh, muck out of the water, which creates the clam juice. Mm -hmm. And then we have our lobster stock, which we make by cooking the lobster bodies, vegetables with uh, water and perneau. I'm gonna add a pinch of, a pinch of the anchovy in. Throw the lobster claw on top. We're going to cover that, and it's going to take about two or three minutes to cook total time. Okay. We have the gas back on high. Got so it. Chef Ed, the gas back up on high. As yes. things are marinating there, in terms of prep, um, is there anything that you have to like pre-steam ahead of this, like the lobster? So the lobster claw we pre-cook for about five minutes, okay. and then we have our roasted, we have our roasted red pepper uh, crostini, which goes on top. Yes. Where the pepper is roasted, where mm -hmm. the pepper's roasted in advance. We chop that up with a little bit of anchovy, parsley, and uh, grana padano cheese, and it's really super flavorful. We I don't have know some if here you got on set. By the crouton while you were there, it's it's really fantastic. <laughs> Just eating it alone by itself, it's amazing. Or dipping it, dipping it right into the broth goes really well. Uh, in in addition to our winter menu, other things we have going on, we have our Valentine's Day packages oh, yeah. for takeout and dine-in available. We have the Super Bowl coming up. We have a special Super Bowl menu as well, where we have some wings and mini lobster rolls. I mean, stuff that you could be enjoying with all your friends watching the game as well. I right. mean, look at this dish right here. We're this digging is in. the final product. Guys, have you tried it yet? Amazing. We have probably about another minute on this. Okay. Okay. Finish, just for to finish steaming open. And you really can't prepare this in advance. You have to open up the mussels and clams really to order, but once it's open, it's ready to go because everything else is already uh, 
We're already there with all the flavor. And How big is restaurant week for you? Because I know a lot of restaurants are struggling and it's really important for, you know, events like this to really get people back in those restaurants and if nothing else, just getting takeout. You know, I want to say that New Yorkers have been really, really great uh, through this whole thing and have really come through with um, with ordering. Restaurant week orders have been have been good so far. Um, you know, they can always they can always be better. And it's it's been a little it's been a little difficult with just outdoor dining and 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 takeout. But I, I will say this. New Yorkers always come through in the end. And, you know, the revival here is coming. It's, it's on its way 100 percent. I want to bring Absolutely. Ben in right now really quick because you have a question, right, Ben? I have screwed up a countless number of scallops in my life. How um, many how many minutes do you cook a scallop on each side? So I wouldn't cook the scallop more than three minutes on each side. If it's a, like I'm using like a U10 dry sea scallop, right. which is a big fat scallop. Super, super hot pan, though. The pan really needs to be smoking. And that's the only way you're going to get that sear and keep it from overcooking. Okay. Yeah. Mine's rubber. It yeah, turns into like a pencil so eraser. <laughs> that it might burn. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is amazing, Chef. It is such a Perfect. hearty, Yummy. beautiful dish for a cold winter day like this. Thank you for joining us. We appreciate it. Thank you, oh, Chef. Great. Yeah. Congrats. You're welcome. Thank you. And we got the dish finished. Oh. Yay! Yay! Beautiful. Bon appetit. Chef Ed, you're the best. Mm -hmm. today as well. Thank you so much. Absolutely. Aww. Ed's Lobster Bar in Yummy. Soho. It's open Monday through Sunday from 11 a.m. to 9.30 p.m. The Sag Harbor location is open 12 to 9 p.m. Thursday through Sunday. For more information,